Hello there, and welcome back to this Project and Enterprise Java course. So today we're going to be continuing our um, Spring Boot um, voting system application. And last time we had some homework to do, we had to create a perform voted and already voted HTML or Thymely file. Um, and we don't actually have to implement anything in them, so just create them and that's all. All right, so here's actually just what you should have done. It's so very simple homework. Nothing shouldn't, shouldn't take you more than like five minutes, like even two. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into today's lesson. So today we're actually going to be implementing this all these already voted and perform voted .html pages. So let's go ahead and actually go to our controller, voting controller. There we go. So when we go to the page, we actually get sent to vote .html. Um, in vote.html, we enter our citizen name, um, and then we go to the citizen um, database and essentially search for that citizen. And if he have, he already voted, then essentially he um, if if he already voted, then he gets sent to uh, already voted.html. Otherwise, he gets sent to perform voted.html. So let's go and actually go implement our already voted.html page first. This is actually going to be just very simple. So we're just going to have here um, already voted HTML. We're just going to have body, and then here we're going to have h1 um, style style equals um, uh, font. Nope, it's going to be uh, color color um, red. I think is red an option. Yeah, red's an option. There we go. And then here we're just going to have, um, you have already voted. There we go. All right. So now that we've done that, um, we can now run this. Let's go ahead and run this to make sure that everything is working. Um, and remember, if we go and open up our database here, whoops, let's open up our database. Um, we do have, we have inserted in the previous lesson, um, uh, we can actually do select, select all from, from citizens. Okay, so for some reason it actually gives us, gives us, um, okay, so we, since we have our data, database set to create, okay, that makes sense. Since we have our, our database set to create in our application property, let me explain why citizen got deleted. In our application properties, we have set detail auto set to create, which essentially just um, deletes whatever's in the database um, when you restart it, and so it actually deleted it. So that's why um, that's why there isn't a Bob there. So let me let's go and insert into citizens. There we go, um, and then here we can go ahead and do uh, now select all from citizens, and now we have. Um, ID one has voted for some reason. It actually, doesn't give us anything here, but it's 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 set to true, and then citizen name is Bob. All right, and so now we can go ahead and um, go to our uh, what is this? What is this? Safari web browser and test this. Let me go ahead and actually go to the web browser. All right, there we go, and uh, now we can go ahead and go to localhost eighty eighty. We can now enter the name Bob, and we get. You have already voted since he indeed has already voted. All right, there we go. All right, so let's go back to Eclipse. Um, now that we've done that, we can go to implement our next page, which will be um, perform voted. No, we're not well, okay. Why did I put perform voted? Would it make sense to make perform vote? But okay, let's just keep it as perform voted for now. So he goes to perform vote voted, and here he's going to have. Um, two candidates uh, that he can actually choose from. So in order to do that, what we would actually do is we would need to put something into the model. Um, let me actually go to voting controller here. Um, so else, if he actually, if we're going to go to perform voted, we would need to put something into the model or request, and then after that, we would actually take something, you know, from there. So um, actually, no, it's the candidates that we have. So there's going to be two candidates, each with a separate name. So for our case, let's go ahead and actually do, um, let's go to candidates right here. Let me actually go ahead and go to candidates. Where's the candidate entity? Candidate.java, okay. And the candidate, um, each a candidate is going to actually going to have a public void, no, public, um, no, it's going to be private, private um, integer 
um, private integer, what, what will this be? What will the integer be? It was, it's going to be votes, votes. So number of votes. We we'll just put number of votes. There we go. Let's generate getters and setters. So source, generate getters and setters. Number of votes. There we go. All right. So now that we've done that, we can uh, actually, I feel like we've got the column at column. Name equals number of votes. There we go. All right. We've done that. We can now go ahead and go to um, our our controller here. And now we can do, um, uh, let's see. So can list, list candidates. List candidates, well, no, I mean, yeah, equals new array list. Well, no, 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 it's not going to be new array list. What am I doing? Okay, let me go and actually import list here. Um, candidate to list candidate candidates. There we go. Totally uh, blacked out there for a second for some reason. Um, list Java util and candidate. Uh, there we go. Candidates equals uh, candidate repo dot find all. All right, there we go. And now we can go ahead and do um, candidate repo dot find all. We can do um, passing the model as well. Model. Model. Let's import model. There we go. And now we can do uh, for, for candidate. Whoops, it's supposed to be in. There we go. For candidate in candidates. There we go. And candidate C in candidates. There we go. And now we can do uh, model dot add attribute we, we could we could we could have actually done model at 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 all attributes but let's just keep it like this for now model dot add attribute um let's see all right there we go let's actually let's let's let's, let's delete this for let's do model dot add all attributes candidates there we go. All right. All right. So we've done that. Um, and now we return perform voted. Now in perform voted, we're actually going to get back this um, candidates um, list and then iterate over it and then perform and then add buttons so that the person clicks as to what exactly he wants, who he wants to vote for. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right. So here in our perform voted.html file, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to create and do. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is href we're gonna have an href here and then an href here as well or actually no instead of what we can do what would be better is we're gonna have a div here and then close the div all right and the div we're gonna have th each th each equals candidate in dollar sign candidates there we go all right, now that I think about it, we also need to change right here. Instead of doing add all attributes, we're going to do we're going to add attribute and then candidates, comma, candidates. There we go. All right, so now that we've done that, we can go ahead and go back to perform voter.html. And it's here. It's also in our, no, we'll do that later. Anyway, um, in here in our perform voter, what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, a th href equals at. And then here at add, we're going to have slash um, uh, vote for slash. And then uh, we're going to do candidate. And then here we would actually do um, dollar sign. Uh, whoops, nope. Um, let's do vote for. And then, no, let's actually do like this. So vote for um, ID equals dollar sign uh, candidate dot id 
All right, there we go. All right, there we go. Let's end the end tag. Now let's put click here just so we can see what we can just so we can click it just for testing. And now we can actually run this server. So while that's starting up, let me actually go ahead and go to MySQL. Here we are. So I went ahead and inserted some values into MySQL. So um, if I do select, whoops, let me take select all from candidates. Let's say I have um, ID 21, candidate name C and B, and then number of votes for now, I just put null. Um, and then I also have select all from citizens. And there it goes. So here I just have ID 2, citizen name Bob. And it has voted here for some reason, it doesn't show, but it's supposed to be false. So just insert false. It is false. It's weird that it doesn't show it though. All right, there we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to the browser to make sure that this is working. All right, there we go. So here let's go ahead and go to localhost 8080. And now let's just do Bob. And there we go. So now we have two candidates. So we it actually creates two different click buttons that we can click. So if we click on the first one, you'll see here how we actually go to localhost 8080, vote for, um, and then ID equals two. So um, question mark ID equals two. So this is a request parameter. And then if we click on this one, then we get ID equals one. So now we essentially know who exactly we are voting for. So let's go ahead and go back to our control. Uh, no, our um, file. Um, and then take a look at how we can improve this application sort of. All right, here we are. So a couple of things we can do. First of all, let's actually go ahead and stop the server. Um, second of all, let's go ahead and actually go to our application.properties. And here I, up I, I put update here so just because um, if we have create, it will actually um, delete all the values in our database as soon as we stop the, pro uh, no, restart the program. So just change it to update so you don't have to, you know, re re-add everything to the database every single time. All right, so that's one thing. And another another thing, um, we can actually, um, right now, when we click on click, we actually don't know exactly who we're voting for, which obviously, you know, it, it presents a problem. So um, for that, what we're actually going to go ahead and do is, um, uh, we're going to do th text equals, and then dollar sign candidate candidate dot name and then before that let's just say click to click to to vote for and then it's candidate dot name all right and there we go so now we can remove this there we go and then essentially that is um that is a program so we can actually now go to run this and take a look at how it will work so wait a second here Now. All right, let me actually go ahead and skip to where it actually starts up. There we go. Um, so now we can go ahead and go to uh, Safari. There we go. And let's refresh. And there we go. So now we have click to vote for C and click to vote for B as well. And we can click either one. All right, so there we go. Okay, so actually we've done quite a bit today. Um, we essentially figured out how we can use Thymeleaf in our application. Um, now, normally this really wouldn't be exactly how you would do it. It's similar to what you would do, but it wouldn't be exactly like this. Um, and generally speaking, this whole application, you would definitely need to add some sort of security to it. But learning, you know, security is a whole separate topic. And um, this is just a, 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 a we're going in a order of easiest application to hardest application. So I, I, I'm trying to keep this application, you know, as simple as possible. So yeah, anyway, without further ado then, um, your homework is just to get this running your machine. And uh, yeah, next time we're actually gonna be creating this vote for um, controller. So anyway, without further ado then, um, I'll see you next time, till soon.